Oh boy, do we have some news. What is going on, everybody? How? are y'all doing we have some late night e3 news before we get started with this video give the video a big thumbs up like 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 all right we all have to admit e3 has been lackluster and that's being generous i mean the best presentation has been Xboxes, but in my opinion, Xbox was a 4 out of 10 at the best. But, it looks like, first tomorrow, of course, Nintendo's going to have their presentation. We still don't know what Nintendo's going to show. <laughs> I already tweeted out on Twitter, follow me at ob one plays. I said, Metroid Prime 4 for me. It's all or nothing, Nintendo. That's the game I want to see. But... It looks like we may not have to just depend on Nintendo. According to comicbook.com, Sony, a new PlayStation event will be happening soon, according to an insider. So, it looks like Sony was just going to let Everybody go first, see what they do, maybe strategically readjust some things, and then go last. All right. According to the article says, reputable insider that goes by Navtra, PlayStation is soon going to be revealing its plans <coughs> for a presentation in which it will talk more about upcoming titles heading to its platforms. All right, although he didn't get into specific dates as when it'll be transpiring, they did encourage those looking to hear from PlayStation 2, and I quote, just wait a couple more weeks. All right, now, I've already said uh, there was already rumors that Sony was trying to do something at the end of June that would line up. That's a couple more weeks, but... It looks like Sony will be doing their own presentation at their own times. Now, what I'm showing you behind me was their last state of play, which just focused on Horizon Zero Dawn. And I think that was a good move by PlayStation. What did they do? Only um, they gave the expectations. You know exactly what to expect. And they laser focused on a dope game. They did that for Ghost of Tsushima. Convinced me to get Ghost of Tsushima. I already was getting this game. But the state of play just reconfirmed that the game looks fantastic. PlayStation Studios, man. Their first party studios are wizards, bro. This game right here. Look better than anything. Everything shown at E3. Forza look dope. It's a car racing game. Which everything going by is going by fast. <coughs> Every car game looks dope. Go back and look at Forza 4. Horizon 4, it looks just as good. But when you're talking about games and gameplay, nothing touched this game right here. Even Ratchet Clank that I'm playing right now. In my opinion, PlayStation don't need an E3 presentation. Um, Jim Ryan said, we'll let the games do the talking. And I am more than happy playing my PlayStation 5 games right now. So, according to this article, PlayStation E3 event... It's not going to be E3, it's going to be post E3 event. Looks like it might be happening. Keep it locked, I will keep you updated. But, the next news item is pretty huge. Bro, more information on Forza and 
when it's going to be launching and the frame rates everything about this game is being revealed and it looks like if you want to play forza at 4k you're gonna have to resort to 30 frames per second the game um xbox has officially confirmed that forza will be running at 4k 30 on the xbox series x and 1080p um with a performance um option um 1080p i think 30 or 1440p 30 and 1080p 60 on the series s now there will be also a performance option on the xbox series x but we don't know what the resolution they're obviously going to bump down the resolution um to accommodate the game and just like playstation i can't even say ha ha look at what xbox is doing because sony does the same thing when ratchet and clank launched 4k 30 and um if you wanted to do 60 frames per second uh, there was another performance mode i'm gonna play all my games performance mode frames over resolution for me and even if you're going to bump down the resolution for this game running at 60 which is for a racing game you can't play a racing game. you can't play a racing game at 30 you can't play a fighting game at 30. 60 is going to be the way to go and the game is still going to look good even at 60 frames per second let's keep it a buck bro and so but that isn't what got me a little peeved with this forza bro check out what dan stapleton of ign tweeted out and it's true when i looked at the article forza 5's actual release date is november 5 it just gets a price drop from 80 to 60 on the 9th for everyone else and it's actually on game pass on day four not day one xbox is being a little sneaky and you we got to call them out i'll call if sony did the same thing i'd call them out too xbox has been touting game pass day one for their big launches what they did was they've said early release if you get the 80 dollars version of the game you get to play the game early this is what they're going to be doing with all their games. It seems like their big triple A games. They're going to tell y'all what it really is. The release date is really November 5th and everybody else can play it four days later. That's all when they say early release. They're just trying to get your money. And so when they're saying day one for their big triple A games, that's not being quite honest because what they're going to keep doing is Halo, if it launches November 12th, the real date will probably be November 8th. And they're just going to say early access November 8th. <laughs> and they just so they could charge you to get money and then have it on Game Pass on the 12th, which is a little shady. If you're going to tout and say, if you get Game Pass, you get to play the game on day one mean day one when you say day one xbox that's not day one bro um you still have to pay for it if you want to play it day one so it is what it is bro all right the only other big news today is that capcom had their e3 event it was trash just like squares enixes was trash xboxes was even trash for me bro what 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 were the lit the only lit gameplay was the halo multiplayer and forza two games and i said it before the presentation xbox for me and this is my opinion they're gonna have to do more than gears halo and forza bro they can't they're gonna go another generation just halo, halo gears and forza the one game everybody was hyped for and talking about was starfield even after the presentation like, oh, Starfield is going to be crazy. And I'm saying to myself, did everybody see what I just saw? One, there was no gameplay. It was all CGI. Even if it was in-engine footage, there was no gameplay. And it's obscure. 
talking about just like Skyrim in space. You're going to get to travel across space to different regions and stuff. I'm getting No Man's Sky vibes. And I say this. When No Man's Sky was revealed, everybody was hyped, bro. I was the only one saying, why are y'all hyped, bro? They're just showing you. They're not showing anything. What is the game going to be about? Lo and behold, when No Man's Sky launched, everybody was upset. Oh, it isn't what we thought. It isn't blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm not saying Starfield is going to be bad. All I'm saying is, <laughs> wait until they show actual gameplay and see what it's going to actually be like before you like get hyped for something, bro. I only get hyped for CGI if it's an established franchise. If Metro Prime 4 Tomorrow were just to be straight CGI, I would still be hyped because I know Metroid is fire. If God of War were just going to show and it's just CGI, I would be hyped because I know the God of War, there's never been a bad God of War game. And so, but for a new franchise, just to be hyped over CGI and you haven't seen any gameplay, I think that's a little foolish. All right, dudes, those are all the things I wanted to talk about in this video. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, man, it's been harder to do my bro on this new TV. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date all things gaming bro we out peace i just bought this new sony bravia i forgot what it's tied up but it was about a thousand dollar tv it's worth it 120 frames per second future proof my ps5 for gaming and whatnot we lit all right i'll see you guys later we out